Hello, hello. Let's go. Boy. We are back again. Oh, whoops. Maybe we need to go on help map. Which mission am I going to do now? How about let's hold the Leopold Strauss one off for a bit? Squilla, but you know, it's a Mac mission. It's a mission everybody fucking goes and saves Mac in. I love Mac. Oh my god, these stupid fucking carriages and shit just rob the fuckers. Oh shit! You almost killed my ass, man. You fucker. I need to go find another. I need to go find another stagecoach to fucking rob. Shut up, bitch. Ah! Oh, there's one right there, though. That's a stagecoach, right? No. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Hey, mister! Hold up! Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Everyone on board needs to throw out their money. Two stagecoaches robbed. Alright, what's the what's the next one that I need to do? Yep. Oh no 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 no, it's okay, it's okay. Oh. It's okay, buddy, it's okay. Come on, Karin. We're we're gonna be doing a lot more war shit than this, like it's okay. Don't worry about it, man. Progress. I got my challenges. I need to go grab another fucking beer, dude. Cash registering, but um, she had to buy her friend's entire uh, fucking time while I was wide the fuck open. 
some little short nigga trying to fucking throw ice at me, little punk ass bitch. She didn't even fucking reach me. She was to hide behind all her fucking friends and glare at me, but yet yeah, won't fight me. Yeah, I'm blocking everything, bitch. We can have round two real fucking quick, bitch. I'm blocking everything. I'll drop my attic. What's good? Oh, anyway, so, um, I already know she's gonna make a post because all she does is post on Facebook, but if anyone wants a real tea, Hit me up. I'm not the type to fight people. You already know I don't go out of my way to fight people. But she really wanted to yell in my face with her hot ass breath. And she ended up in a headlock. So she can post whatever she posts. I'm blocked on everything. So one of y'all grabbed a screenshot and sent it to me. This is her. But she's still talking. She's still to be bold. And she got dragged. And. Okay, I gotta look this bitch up on Facebook now. <laughs> like, I, like, I swear that name sounds so familiar to me. Oh, that's why she looks familiar. I reckon I'm friends with her on my other fucking... On my other Facebook. That makes sense. Alright, hold on a second. I will be back. I gotta fucking... Oh shit. I gotta fucking grab another beer.
did go and grab, an, I grabbed two more beers, but I'm also fucking, I also had to take a mad piss, bro. Oh my god, I had to take such a fat piss. <laughs> <laughs> Man power. <laughs> Must one person's triumph be another's humiliation? Of course. ever done that bro where like you're chugging a beer 
Ugh. And then you just get the hiccups in between it. Oh, that fucking hurt, dude. I got heartburn from that now, bro. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to do. I was going to look up all of the bandit challenges and what they unlock. Because I think this next one will give me the, the offhand bandit holster. Welcome to my Reddit Ready is away. Challenge number one requires you to hold up five town folks, and this is actually not just like regular people, because the ones that do look a bit more like cowboys will shoot back and will make your life a little bit more difficult than is necessary. It doesn't really matter who you rob, but do be aware that some people... Also, by the way, I don't want, like, I don't want anybody to think I'm stealing this shit. Like, I already knew what this dude is saying. But it's a uh, GT Amen, Amen, GT Amen is the video that I'm is the the actual profile of the dude that I'm watching right now. Don't really seem to care all that much about being robbed. But even the footage as well, you don't have to point your gun or only do people on foot. Doing people and coaches works as well. Challenge number two requires you to rob at the horsey match. Then yeah, I'm on challenge three. Own a break lock you can get to need the break lock for further challenges as well. Challenge number three requires you to rob the cash register in four shops in one day. Now this challenge is actually pretty easy. All you want to do is make sure that you start this challenge in the morning so you have plenty of time in the day to go around uh, town and start robbing some places. Uh, obviously you want to start off in Valentine where you can rob three places. Uh, if you want to speed up the process while losing your wanted level as well, because that can get quite hectic as you're robbing stores, is by simply allowing the law to shoot you dead. Uh, you will, however, lose some money because of that. Uh, but, you know, if you're not someone at all too bothered about money uh, and really wants to get this challenge out of the way as quick as possible, that is the fastest way to do so. From what I can tell, you only lose about half an hour in game time before you respawn again. So you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Once you're done at Valentine, you want to head to Strawberry where you rob the general store there too. And you will have completed the challenge. It's really not a hard challenge at all. It should really be done in a couple of minutes. So challenge number four requires you to rob any three coat or lose about half. And not some of the dolls can get quite hectic at town and start robbing some register in four unlock on that Shops. it doesn't say anything and not some of the dolls lose about half or there too or return any three stolen coat to the fence in one day. So what you want to do for this one is you want to take a stagecoach from Valentine to Emerald Ranch and as you arrive in Emerald Ranch you can do the exact same thing as in Challenge 2. You break the lock and you bring a stagecoach to the fence. Then when you're done with that you take a stagecoach back to Valentine where you break the lock once more and you will have completed the challenge. Challenge number 5 requires you to take a stagecoach from Valentine to be done in a couple of minutes. So challenge number four requires you to rub any three coaches or return any three stolen coaches to the fence in one day. So what you want to do for this one is you want to take a stagecoach from Valentine to Emerald Ranch. And as you arrive in Emerald Ranch, you can do the exact same thing as in challenge two. You break the lock and you bring a stagecoach to the fence. Then when you're done with that, you take a stagecoach back to Valentine again. Uh, every time you kill a lawman, you'll get a additional $20 on your bounty. So basically you have to kill 13 lawmen and then you will have completed the Valentine again and where you break the lock once more and you will have completed the challenge. Challenge number five requires you to amass a $250 bounty in one state. Now personally I did this in Valentine again. Uh, every time you kill a lawman you'll get an additional $20 on your bounty. So basically you have to kill 13 lawmen 
and then you will have completed the challenge as well. A side note, by the way, if you want to speed this up a little bit more, a train robbery is $50, so if you want to make this a bit quicker, starting off a train robbery will make this progress a little bit quicker. Challenge number six requires you to steal five horses and sell them to the horse fence at Clements Cove, which is unlocked after the mission Horse Flesh for Dinner, which is a John Marston mission in Chapter 3. Now, the way you can go about this one is actually multiple ways. You can go a bit more the legal route by going to the Heartlands and lessoing. Uh, all those horses, taming them a little bit and bringing them to the horse fence. It would require a little bit more time, but it will be a bit more safer when it comes to wanted level, and especially if you're someone that has just amassed $250 in a bounty at once. You might want to pay that off before you continue on. However, another effective way which shouldn't give you too much money to voice is by simply stealing horses from passing by passengers. Typically on the same road as the horse fence, you will see some of those people pass by. Just simply steal the horse, bring them to the horse fence, and rise and repeat until you got five. Challenge number seven requires you to rob fifty dollars worth of cash and valuables from town folk and travelers. Now, the easiest way to do this one is by simply going a train and start robbing people who are in there. Typically, you get between $10 and $15 worth of cash or valuables when you're robbing them, so it should only take about four or five people in order to have this challenge done. If you can't find a train, the easiest way to get one is by simply taking a train to any random town, and then as soon as you get off the train, just start robbing everyone, and you will have completed this challenge in no time. Challenge number eight requires you to steal seven wagons and sell them to the fence at Emerald Ranch. Now you might be... Okay. Well... I've done this before, but I mean, like I said, you know, it's been months since I've actually played through, uh, excuse me, the story of this game. <sighs> but it's alright, I just, the only thing I want is I just want to get the, the cool looking gear from it, you know, I want to get the bandit holster, I want to get the bandit gun, or the, the bandit belt, I want to get the bandit offhand holster that shit just like matters to me man what was the what was the third one rob the cash register in, in any four shops in one day okay yeah it was not too bad yep I mean in all honesty like I could just do that now nah it's already too late I'm already heading to Strawberry, or no, I'm already heading to Blackwater. This dude is dead. So I'm gonna take a okay, shit. Boy. Get the fuck out.
here pretty fast, I guess. I've drank beer a whole lot fucking faster. I've shotgun beers in like less than less than six seconds, but <clears throat> and that one was a few minutes. But I've also I've been drinking all day, so I mean, wasn't too bad. It was a few minutes, I guess. Yeah. This fucking horse, dude. Easy, boy, you're okay. Yep. There we go. Get my horse bonding up a little bit. Oh, this dude's looking for gold. I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> All I have to do is wait just a tiny All bit. Right, just a little here bit. And I'll be able to get some gold. I thought he was talking to me for a second. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee, I got some gold. <laughs> Look at this, baby. <laughs> Wait till Tex sees this. Oh, the look on his face. Well, look at that. You found me some gold. Why don't you hand it right over? And give him a chance. Give me that fucking gold. Boy. Yeah. No, fuck the camp funds, dude. I'm fucking selling this to a fence to get hella money off of it. You're kidding. I contribute to the camp but only in actual camp missions you know I'll do it every now and then too just like random small stuff like gold pocket watches platinum pocket watches and shit like that but besides that dude like fuck yourself man I fucking went out of my fucking way to get this shit you know you can fuck off
today. Sure. What? Our country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Moore. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and then relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. A sneaky one, too. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Coyote. I am Wiley Coyote too, which is yep. like ironic. Yep, yep. tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm, I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Such an easy side mission. Come on, Karen. Let's go. Yep. Did I say Karen? Charon. Come on.
idea Pinkertons would be there, bro. Like, like right there, right when I entered Blackwater territory. I had no idea, bro. None, none whatsoever. There's fucking four lot men right behind me. Put them up on this trail right here. They're gonna see me. Yep. I am wanted now. You're tripping, bro. Had this hard of a time getting into fucking getting into Blackwater territory. Not one single time. Yeah. Never been this difficult. <laughs> How much farther are you, Harvey? Here? You're fucking right there. God damn, bro. We're gonna get there. Yeah, 
Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, yeah. Mm. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. You want Ben in the black water, see how things lie? The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch. I'll tell you. Oh, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? Think he's bait? We want to try them publicly? Gentlemen, Sean. Sean's being no moved. fucking mad. Oh, God damn it. it. I'm then fucking to a federal it. prison out west. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. I'm not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? We'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Astute observation. The law are not too kind, really. No fucking shit. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. There, look! I think that's our boat! All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Indeed. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? Be quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. The longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. A bit. Apparently, there's a camp Bro, you're the one leading this track. Get the, the fuck out of here. Transfer before continuing out west. I imagine. He's like, pick up the pace, dude. You're the one leading the fucking pack, bro. Yeah, they're already fucking stopped, you dipshit. I mean, let me go on ahead, bro. Hey, they pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? 
I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. 